when summer rolls along, especially in this economic climate, educational opportunities during summertime can be fun and can make a decided difference in long-term employment advantages. It's the perfect time to benefit from a host of educational offerings for all ages. We'll look at some of those educational opportunities in our program right now. And we have at Metro, Tech, uh, Metro Technology Centers three individuals who are er in some areas that are very, very important now. Michael Cozart, who is the Educational Coordinator at Metro Tech, and Sharon Jackson, teacher of short-term course, including decorating your house into a home. I want to hear about that. Uh, and Deborah Wise, who's Coordinator of Short-Term Courses. But let's start with you, Michael, because we know that nursing is a growth area. And uh, you're dealing with certified nursing assistant training and certified medication aid. Yes, we, uh, we offer a couple of courses, uh, certified nursing assistant. Uh, we have classes at our South Bryant campus and we have classes at the Spring Lake campus. Uh, those are our morning courses. It's a three, three and a half week course, get 108 hours of training. Uh, we even offer the course in the evening uh, at our South Bryant campus. And come August, we will be moving from the South Bryant campus to uh, the, re, the, re, uh, the re-innovated, the renewed uh, ITC on the Spring Lake campus. And so uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, get certification. Um, again, we offer certified medical aid, and that's 60 hours of training. Um, and you must be a CNA first and uh, 60 hours, again, 60 hours of training, two week, uh, two week training, um, an opportunity for a person to grow in the position from CNA or from home health to a CMA. And what a perfect time during the summer to make that oh, happen. Yes. Uh, but you're talking about growth not only in educational opportunities, but you're talking about facilities too. Oh yes, yes, yes. We have, uh, our facilities are, are fully equipped with medical equipment and um, and then at some portion of the class, the students get the opportunity to go to a clinical site, and so they get hands-on experience uh, from, C from CNA and CMA. So it's an you know, opportunity three, four days to work in, in, a, in, a, in a facility with actual people. Well, let's just speak for a minute, Michael, about the, the growth uh, in nursing and how much of a, of a growth industry that is today. I went to a seminar probably a year ago, and they were saying in the next two to three years, there'll be 40 million new jobs in the nursing industry. And so, you know, there's an opportunity for, you know, for someone to get into a field that where their, their bonuses, if you look in the newspaper, you see $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 bonuses to get into a field. And, you know, the opportunity, the, the, time, the time is now. A yeah. lot of the growth factors, the baby boomers are retiring. Yes. Uh, you have health issues there that deal with age. Yes. And retiring nurses and, or those in the healthcare field who are getting older retiring. Yes. I guess all of those elements come into play. Well, it, like I said, with 40 million new jobs, you, you're, not, you're not stuck in just working in one different thing. You know, you can uh, be in a facility. We, we even, even as a CMA, you can work in, uh, in the prison systems. So, you know, there's, there's the opportunities to, uh, to, to get a skill that will last forever and that will always be needed is now. And that's an important point. Once you become a CNA uh, and, and certified medical medication aid, you, there are so many areas and locations where you can utilize that skill. Oh, yes, yes. You, you, and you, you don't have to necessarily stay in, uh, in a nursing home or you can go to the hospital. Again, you can go to uh, the group home settings. Uh, in the correctional institution, uh, we uh, we I was in a class at Metro Share. Uh, we have we offer a, a, a training, professional development. It's called Metro Share, and we went to a prison system on last week, and they have they have nursing they have CMAs that work in prison systems, and and you can actually make more money working in in, uh, in a correctional institution than you can working in uh, a nursing home or in a group. Type of setting. The flexibility of that type of training. Sharon. Yes. Um, decorating your home, decorating your house into a home during the summer, what a wonderful project. Tell well, us about it. I'm happy to be here in between these serious <laughs> training programs these guys are doing because it, it allows us, I tell people, it allows you to develop that right side of your brain, the creative juices. And the industry in interior design, home design, and renovation is a multi billion dollar industry. 
And since uh, starting HGTV and um, you know, do-it-yourself programs, people want to learn techniques and styles to do their renovations and updating themselves. So I think it's a great opportunity. You can do it in the summer. And I just start working with them from what is your idea? What If you could close your eyes and think about the best case scenario for your room or your renovation, what would it look like? And then from there, I try to help them develop that space planning. We do uh, cabinetry, kitchen and bath design. We do basic home renovation to give them the tools, the tips, and the techniques that I've used for over 20 years in doing design work. This, uh, this spurs the imagination. It does, uh, it and, does. And I guess as time goes along, I don't know if you have demonstration areas or any more where their computers can be brought into this project to illustrate how different, uh, different uh, combinations would look. Well, one of the things that I use in the class is we use, you know, the internet is so vast with things, and so most people are visual. So I get them to express verbally what they want, then I show how they can go online. We find videos that walk them through, but if they want that hands-on, uh, then that's what I offer. Or they may say, well, what's in style? And I tell people, anything you want in your home is what's in style. It's not someone else's taste. It is what makes you feel comfortable, how you want to feel in your space. And I help with color selection. You know, people say, oh, well, I just want white walls. Well, you really, is your closet all white? You know, in most colors, I tell people, I think you will look great in sitting in a room in colors that you feel you look good in. And so that's how I try to help them break out of that white walls, beige, and those type of things. You're kind of brainstorming with them. To, exactly. To help to stimulate that imagination. Let me go to Deborah. And mm -hmm. Deborah, you are dealing with education relating to central service technician. That's right. Speak to that. Tell us about that uh, okay. position. Well, several months ago, um, our surgical technology instructor came and spoke to me and had an idea for a new course. Before patients ever go into surgery in a hospital or surgical center, all of the supply, all the equipment that's going to be used for that person all needs to be sterile and decontaminated and cleaned so that when surgeries take place, um, the people that are having the surgery done, you and me, that we have less risk for infection while we're there. And so the people that decontaminate and sterilize those instruments are very critical to the process of surgery in the hospital. And it's so important that those people have adequate training and that they know the best practices for their field. And so we have a wonderful instructor with more than 25 years of experience and many certifications in this area who will be teaching a class for us in this on Saturdays and we're really looking forward to having these classes. Um, they, like Michael's classes, they will have a theory component. We'll be doing a lot of the class at Metro Tech on our Spring Lake campus, but we'll also have a clinical component so that students can go out and actually see the equipment and actually practice doing some of the techniques that they will need to do. So this is, uh, is this truly a new position or is it just new to our educational experience for uh, Metro Tech. Yes, it's a new class for us and um, the positions are out there. Um, people do hold this, but we're hoping that this class will help people to better understand the best practices in the field and also our goal is that many of our students would hopefully go on to certification in this area. And this is so well timed because mm -hmm. as you know, we've heard about this in the news, this issue of sterilization. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's well-timed and very valuable mm -hmm. to have something like this. And what better time to give people an opportunity to, to get specialized in this than during the summer? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's excellent. Sharon, mm -hmm. I've got to come back to you for a moment. Don't you think that as people are finding out about decorating rooms and using the computer, they become more computer literate in that process? They do. I think what this allows is people who may not be quite as comfortable or feel they're not as uh, trained on, or skilled on computers, it puts you in a situation to do research, to you know, use the internet and not be under pressure because it's for your pleasure. You know, and, and you search and you drill down to find the information that you want. So it is, it is educational and learning about products and especially now in the environment, we talk about safe environmental products to use in your home. 
uh, around kids, depending on, you know, if someone wants to strip furniture, then there are environmentally friendly products that they can use. So in the class that I facilitate at Metro Tech, I bring in those products and show them and tell them how to use and we how to use them. Uh, the safety aspects, you know, you always have to wear that safety gear because we want you to survive and be healthy to enjoy your new space. <laughs> if you're going so. to use that kind of glue in an enclosed room, <laughs> be careful. Yes, yes, yes. Aerate. You have to be in an aerated all those, area. All those issues come into it. Yes. And, 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 and Michael, the, uh, the area of certified nursing assistant, certified medication aid, these, uh, this whole training process is a hands-on process, isn't it? Oh, yes. Um, our, our students are, the classrooms are set up, like she, there's a theory side and then we actually have uh, almost like a clinical setting. So you have uh, you have beds, you have mannequins, you have the props in there that you need. So the students get, uh, not only do they get the, the theory, but then they, they get the practical side. Um, again, they're in the clinicals, they're in clinical settings, actually working with real people. So it's, you're going to leave prepared. And the good thing about it is really having the latest equipment. Oh, yes. Which, which is critical, and, and that is something I know that Metro Technology is, you you are on the forefront of having yes, really yes, modern, yes. if they walk into a hospital, they're gonna see something similar to that. that. That's what we have to provide them. We, try, we, we wanna provide them the best opportunity for success um, in, you know, in a global society, and so that's what we're about. And what's interesting too is I know that Metro Technology Centers, you coordinate with the healthcare field and you know what they need. Oh yeah, we, we, I mean, one of the things, we have to stay, we have to stay relevant to what's going on to the times and, and there, there are changes. I mean, we're, we're constantly changing and as Deborah can, can attest to, I mean, every month or so, we're going to different types of trainings. We're on, we, we, have, we have the latest information on all the updates. So, you know, when they leave, they, they are prepared. And, and our, you know, we wanna make sure that they can walk in a setting from the day they leave the class and, and, and start working. Time Magazine just had an article recently on technology centers and how vital they are now to our entire economy because they give a hands-on training that is uh, specialized mm -hmm. and, and unique. Yeah. And when I think of specialized, now I think of central <laughs> service technician. Mm -hmm. And that's a hands-on training too, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Yes. Yes, they will um, be doing quite a bit um, in, first in the classroom to get the, the theor theory aspect down. But then um, we will also get them out in a, to a clinical setting so that they can practice and work on the equipment and, and see how things will operate um, on a daily basis in a hospital setting. And once again, too, you're, you have available for them the latest equipment for mm -hmm. that special training that they're, that they're going to we, need. Yes, we want to introduce them to that, for sure. A absolutely, absolutely. Our time has gone by quickly. Wow. And we've talked about so many things, <laughs> which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Michael Kosert, uh, in the Instructional Coordinator at MetroTech, thank you for being here. Thank you. Sharon Jackson, uh, decorating those. I'm going to have to get in that course. You should. <laughs> it's really relaxing. It really is. After you deal with these topics, these and, guys And have. Deborah Weiss, uh, Coordinator of Short-Term Courses, Central Service Technician. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.